Samson, would you like to tell our viewers what um, what this video is about today? No! Okay, so Samson doesn't want to share, but I will. So basically what happened was I found a vase in my parents' basement, and I decided it would make a nice planted aquarium for something small. So I was inspired to make a little shrimp tank. And that's what I'm gonna go through in this video. So let's get right into it and I'm gonna explain step by step what I did to get there. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the vase. I had at this point washed out the vase with hot water and dried it out with just paper towels and took some just standard aquarium gravel that I then used to fill up the bottom of the vase. After adding the gravel, I added the main focal point of this ecosystem, the rock, which is my hardscape. And then from there, I wanted a bit of a sandy kind of river or lake bed look to it. So I just took some standard aquarium sand and sprinkled it in. Samson would like to take a quick moment to say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so. If you go to the corner of this video right here, you can click a button and it'll allow you to subscribe to the channel. So just continuing to add this sand into the bottom of the vase. Now I'm going to add some water and this is just going to compact the sand down, which will make planting easier for me. Now I'm going to use some tweezers, make little holes for my different plants that I have, and then fill in the sand around the rest of the plants. Some Anubias Nana going in on the side here, shifting the rock a little bit to make room for And then in the foreground, I am going to uh, and the background, I'm going to add some crypt plants, which make nice foreground plants. I believe the plants I have planted in the back at this point are wisteria. Then I'm going to take some drift uh, spider wood branches that I had broken off a big piece of spider wood that I had, and I'm going to arrange them in a way that looks kind of cool in the aquarium. And unfortunately, I forgot to film the portion of the video where I attached the Java moss to various parts of the aquarium. But all it was take super glue and attach the Java moss directly to various parts of the uh, branches and the rock. And there you have it. There is the Java moss. Now I'm going to begin adding water to the vase. And then this water is the special water. This is the water that from the short that I had posted a couple of days prior, that water had, uh, that was pond water. So I went to a pond in my local town and I got some water with uh, leaves and stuff from it that'll have a lot of biodiversity and uh, microorganisms on it. Next, we're gonna add the main stars of this show. These are the cherry shrimp and blue dream shrimp i named them red and blue in honor of two of my favorite pokemon games growing up red and blue version because i am a big time fan of pokemon so here we are adding red and blue to the aquarium and look at them there they are enjoying their brand new home so there you have it a completed shrimp ecosystem made out of a vase that I found in my parents' basement. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And if you made it this far in the video, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate the love and the support. Um, have a great day.